die methyl trip to me make a man dream the methyl trip to me dimethyl trip to me close enough so our last video right before this we reacted to better in tune with the infinite so this one is a, like the total opposite of that it's like some trippy shit he might have actually been on dimethyltryptamine yeah what is it a, just a drug what drug is it i think it's some sort of a chemical gateway mm. that's what i think i think there's a gateway in your mind that can lead to some other dimension that's probably there all the time a psychedelic drug like shrooms times thousand mm. like you take it it only lasts for like five minutes i think but everybody that i've ever heard that's taken it always say it's a like spiritual experience. They say that it shoots you in the middle of the universe and that, and you just realize that everything is like one and you just stop stressing and worrying and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I know like the pure, the purest form of it is from a toad, specific kind of toad mm. in like the South of America, not South of America, but like the South of America, <laughs> like the I Southwest, like New Mexico and stuff. You pick up these toads and they have like warts on them. Pop those warts on a piece of glass and then let the juice or whatever dry. And then you like scrape it off and smoke it. Mm. And then there's synthetic ways that you can take it too. Well, we already produce it in our brain. And then it also comes from cow poop. <laughs> so right here it says he had a dream. Oh, this song came from a dream. And he dreamt of the JFK assassination. And he got, and got high that night. And afterwards went to sleep, so that's why this song is all over the place, just like a dream. That's why he named it that. I wonder if he got high on DMT, though. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can crazy i don't even know what he's talking about i think pigs with the heads of men is talking about cops let's see uh -huh. yeah pigs or police government pigs with the heads of men spat acid that lasered my third eye closed like lassic so they sprayed like acid on people and it burned his eyes his third eye his pineal gland you know what a pineal gland is it's like your it's like the thing that makes you this is the horrible way to explain it, but it's the thing that makes you woke. Mm -hmm. So he's saying that those cops spat acid on it and closed it up, calcified it. Yeah. What does the second or the third line mean? A midget in a casket, like a baby in a bonnet. What is a bonnet? Isn't that a, th a head thing? Yeah, it's just like a little hat, kind of. Oh, I think he's saying like, because he's talking about DMT and they say you, you release it when you die. And so I think he's saying a midget in a casket is like a, a little adult. <laughs> that died because so he's releasing DMT just like a newborn baby is oh. because they're like their purest form with a bottle and a basset horn playing the theme song from children of the corn Question. with a bottle and a basset oh I must be dreaming we're only a couple lines in <laughs> so he's still talking about the midget and the baby because with a bottle and mm -hmm. a basset horn playing the theme this song. is hard to wrap your head around <laughs> And then he like talks about all this crazy shit and he's like, oh, I must be dreaming. A lady in a nightgown, puffing kush, screaming, so smoking, screaming at him, told him to come over. I've seen you from the Catholic church steeple digging graves. What is this? It's like metaphorical. Like the old lady you could say is the government and she's like calling him out saying like you're waking up like the people that are asleep. Mm. I've got your number, Sonny. So ain't no use of fighting, yelling or running from me. And then he says, I never ran, ma'am. This is like ironic because she said there's no use in fighting, yelling or running from mm -hmm. me. He says, I never ran. And then she says, well, then you ain't a clever man, Sam. She tells him not to run, but then she says he's not clever for running. Damn, what the fuck? <laughs> what? This, the lady in this case is terrorism. The number is 911. Oh, I see. So 911 is 911. Mm -hmm. So she's saying, ain't no fighting use, ain't no use in fighting, yelling or running from me. So if she's terrorism, she's like, who are you going to call? Because. Mm -hmm. 9-11 was an inside job, so how can you call 911 if we're the ones who did 9-11, you know? Mm -hmm. Makes sense. 
This shit is crazy. Listen. I have no idea what he's talking about right here. <laughs> this is too much. It's just too much. Listen, the Two-Faced King from Britain and Rome had a baby. So the Two-Faced King from Britain and Rome is America. And they had a baby. Oh, the grassy knows where he got killed. Oh. In, in Dallas. I, that's, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. In a bush on the grassy knoll. What does having a baby mean? What does that mean? When he says had a baby. Had a baby. They're saying like America had JFK. Like oh. JFK was born. Where they peel back the orange head peel of a gnome. I'm pretty sure that's talking about him getting shot in the head. Because a gnome is like a statue. Mm -hmm. So they're saying, you know, he's saying the president is like just a statue. Like he's not, he doesn't actually run anything. Who's MC? MC is like a rapper. He said, hey, MC, I know you like killing them. Oh my God, it's too much. Explain. I don't know. So he says, you terrorized the skies for 25 millenniums. Now you set in fire to land. You the lion, you the savior, the messiah, the lamb. You need backup. You moving on the youth at dawn, cop ball. Okay. I'm trying to put myself, I'm trying to figure out the perspective. He said, I think this is, the sun god that they're referring to is speaking to him because he's the MC. J Electronica is. So they're saying, hey, rapper, MC, I know you like killing them, like killing them on the mic. You terrorized the skies for 25 millenniums. So they're, the god is saying that he's a god. So they're telling him to set fire to the land, like not actually, but like saying like, like spread truth basically in the simple, in layman's terms. Because mm -hmm. you're the lion. You're the savior, you're the messiah, and the lamb. Mm -hmm. Like, he's the sacrifice. Yeah. You need backup. So the, the god is still speaking to Jay Electronica. You need backup. You're moving on the youth at dawn, because that's who you should grab onto to change the world. Call Badu, which is Erica Badu, his baby mama. And oh. She's a singer, too. <laughs> that sounds bad. She has a kids? First. Yeah, I think he has one. What? Maybe two. She's, a, she's her own artist first. I said, that's his baby mama, and she's a singer, too. <laughs> I don't know who Tyrone is though. Oh, it's a song by her. Tell him I sent you and your cold name is Megatron. If Trump calls you, she brain like a telephone. He'll take you to the chocolate city. What two face and the prince of darkness and a committee to snakes and drill. Tell them I sent you and your code name is Megatron. The Transformers, okay. So Megatron is just like a big, you know robot type thing. Mm -hmm. If trouble comes, use your brain like a telephone. That's fire. Mm-hmm. They'll take you to the Chocolate City. Look at that reference, though. First of all, how do you know what the Chocolate City is? Mm -hmm. Second of all, it's a name for DC because it's black population. And of course, it's a, a speech that was made by the mayor of New Orleans, where he's from. Mm -hmm. Like, that reference is crazy. He'll take you to the Chocolate City, where Two-Face and the Prince of Darkness had a committee of snakes, which I'm pretty sure he's talking about the president. President Bush, in this case, Prince of Darkness, is a reference to Satan. Had a committee of snakes, so like... Like the Senate and the, stuff? Yeah, the, like people the people in the who... office or whatever. I've, I've heard this song so many times, and I've never realized, like, how deep he's getting. This sounds this this makes the song so much better reading these lyrics. Mm -hmm. So go to the president, drill him, let the skin peel off and reveal him. Then spray him with the rhymes you like spilling. Hit him up real, real good, but don't kill him. I've always liked this line. We only want to burn him to the point that they will him. To give the location of the blank face villain. So I think the blank face villain is, you know how I said earlier, the gnome is like the president because mm -hmm. he's just a statue. So I think the blank face villain is who actually controls the world. Oh, but nobody knows who that is. Yeah, so blank face villain. Right. Who splits atoms and give mushrooms to civilians. Ooh, I thought he was talking about drugs. He was talking about a mushroom cloud that a mm. bomb makes. Because then he goes into Hiroshima never recovered. You know, that city we bombed uh, in like 
Japan, I think. The CIA, back in the mm. 70s maybe, they had a program where they would drug people and mind control them. So that's like a double reference with the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Hiroshima never recovered and all the evidence was smothered under a thick cloud of rubble. Wow. It's true. People are still affected by those chemicals today. And they be teaching us about that shit in elementary and like we celebrate it. I don't even remember ever hearing about it. You never heard of Hiroshima and Nagasaki? Those towns that we bombed? Mm-mm. Yeah. And they never recovered. That's sad. And all the evidence is smothered <laughs> under a thick crowd of rubble. Mm. The Pope is his brother. Like the Pope is the blank faced villain's brother. Mm. Christian or religion, you could just say. He just I think he just used the Pope as like rhyming. The hillsides is his, his mother. mother. Ooh. Mount Rushmore with the four presidents. Oh yeah. Damn. Oh murder's the mother. What the of fuck? This also can be a reference to the hillside strangler, meaning murder is the mother of America, which it is. The Pope being a reference to religion. Religion is his brother. Murder is his mother. Oh. Uh, yeah, the second paragraph makes more sense than the first. The this shit is crazy. Wow. Uh, where do I begin? What I don't know what a harlot is though. A whore? She's a so he's saying the Statue of Liberty is a whore who stood still like time while New York turned scarlet, like scarlet red with nine eleven. Mm hmm So she's standing still. That's deep. She stood still because she's a statue. But, but he's she not stood actually still. talking about the statue. Though. I know, but she stood still because nobody did anything. Yeah, he's talking about. But it's also her fault. Like she is America. She represents America. So she let 9/11 happen or created it, and and let New Orleans, the Hurricane Katrina happen. While they was playing man versus man, I think that's. If I get this right, that's fire. I, while they was playing man versus man in Afghanistan, the I think war. this. No, I think this is them talk, him talking about them playing basketball, while they're like trying to plan a war. Like they're playing basketball while they're deployed, but like the government is trying to start a war. So it's about a football player who left the NFL to go to the war. So we were kind of right. War. With they mind? So he's saying they're in Afghanistan, but mm -hmm. he's like talking about they're planning different wars already with yeah. nine, with nine eleven. With their mind on Iran, Iraq, and Sudan. Uh huh. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Did you notice how like his voice was going out? Cause it's like he started spilling a lot of truth. Mhm. Mm well, this is how what I got from it. He started spilling a lot of truth, so he's like cutting himself off, so they don't kill him. Mm-hmm. So let the government recruit you to the army, because that's what he was just talking about. Mm -hmm. They'll try to use his powers to seduce you. Make it that's sound what, good. Yeah, that's what they'd be doing, like, to offer you thirty, forty thousand a year. Mm -hmm. Pay for your college, pay for your travels, but they ain't doing nothing to seduce you, to kill you, or to die for them. Just let him think that the feeling is mutual. Like, don't, don't, re don't, like, give a reaction. Don't let him know what you know. Mm -hmm. Because if he already found out that the atom had a positive, a negative, and a neutral, if you express your education and strongly oppose the government, they will publicly praise you, but behind closed doors they will add you to no-fly list, wiretap you, and otherwise betray the trust you have in them. Within this, there is an interesting parallel. The atom had a positive, a negative, and a neutral. J compares the three subatomic particles, proton, electron, and neutron, respectively, that make up atoms to the nuclear debate. In context, he is saying that if you recognize that there are different points of view under the nuclear issue, a positive, a negative one, and a neutral one, the government will feel threatened as they rely on the population agreeing with the point of view 
that they put forth leading them to shoot you. That's a very... Like, that's what I was thinking, but I could have never said it like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad they typed it out. <laughs> yeah. So it's basically saying, don't mm -hmm. reveal all that you know because they'll kill you. Because mm -hmm. that's what the government does. Mm -hmm. Re rest in peace, Nipsey. Rest in peace, X. Rest in peace, Tupac. And then when he drops his album, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> don't say it. Hopefully not, because he's under Rock Nation. He's under Jay-Z's wing. Ain't nobody dying under Jay-Z. Because Jay-Z is part of the government, too. You think so? Today. And then they peeled his orange peel back like a gnome. So are they saying that that's why they killed him? what that speech was about like why did he give that speech like what is he referring to the government or america i know but like did something specific happen and that was his like response to something well, i'm specific? sure it is but i don't know what I know. like i've never looked into it but i've always known people think that the jfk assassination was uh so i try to click on the jfk speech that j electronica referenced and it's no longer available on youtube I wonder why, <laughs> motherfuckers. They got us like rats in this bitch. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> Somebody commented, I've probably listened to this song six times consecutively and I'm still mindful. Now that I think about it, I feel like he is J Electronica, or he is JFK in this song. Hmm. I don't know. It's just so much to wrap your head around. Who? He had to be high as fuck. Like, <laughs> how do you even th think of half of this shit? Mm -hmm. It just seems like he's super knowledgeable about a lot of things. That's what sticks out because he's so confident in what he knows. Or it seems like, yeah, I mean, I've mm -hmm. never talked to him. But mm -hmm. people don't rap like this because, mm -hmm. one, they don't have the knowledge. And two, even if they had like a little bit, they're not confident enough to say it. I feel like I really can't, after listening to this song... Specifically, I feel like I really can't wait for his album to come out because in this song he's kind of talking about issues with the government and whatever. And I feel like there are so many more issues in this day and age than there were back then. Like, he, there's so many things he could be talking about now. But I feel like um, those problems and issues are more out in the open or people are like more kind of willing to talk about them or bring them up i don't know we'll see it's going to be fucking ridiculous whenever he drop if he does drop this album protect his life because i'm sure he's not rapping about bullshit what if he does though what if he drops an album and it's just like trap music <laughs> and club music just to like nah there's no way he could do that. If that's what he was going to do, he would have put that out a long time but ago. But he wouldn't have just put it out. Like, there'd be a purpose. Like, he wants to lose fans. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not even going to try to entertain that because He's not he gonna actually do that. does that. I don't know what I'll think. Nah. I think if he did that, he would have put out music a long time ago. He has a song on the album called Universal Soldier. <laughs> fire just the name oh I just, my god i just uh came across a song the other day you, have you ever heard the phrase close encounters yeah i think so he has a song called closer encounters <laughs> what 
And it's fucking dope. It's very short, but he's a goat. I want. I wish I could have a conversation with him. I wonder if he's like this all the time, or if he can turn his brain off and just like chill. Probably not. I feel like he's like you. But he actually is like on a platform where yeah. like his thinking matters. Mine is just. It matters. Doesn't matter to anybody else, but me. Whereas his thinking matters to a lot of people. Are you watching closely?